It's been two months since the world fell, thanks to the spider uprising. Those eight-legged bastards learned how to open up my front door and somehow managed to launch all the nukes in the world because I'm also the president or something. I know this might not make any sense right now for those who didn't watch the last episode of Water Surf's Gaming Hour, but it's okay. There's probably a car that just popped up if you are somehow hearing this audio recording. It truly is The Apocalypse for PS1, starring Bruce Willis. Oh, hello dear viewers. Welcome to the end of the world. You know, Judgment Day has already passed us, and the spider's only wish is to see us all dead. But, you know, don't worry though, because I'm still alive. Those sons of benches won't get me that easy. <laughs> I'm packing heat. Oh yeah, at least we got one of the nice apocalyptic scenarios. You know, this is the nuclear fallout one. The worst one of them all is the biblical one, where the four horsemen of the apocalypse arise and you know, wipe out the rest of humanity that, you know, never ascended to heaven. Wait a minute. Oh no. Foolish mortal, you shall die by the hand of the almighty spider Satan. Yeah. Ah, oh, f. I knew the f***ing spider was the demon lord himself. Oh, I gotta get out of here. You cannot run from me, Joshua. <laughs> yeah. You have much to atone for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't, I can't atone for anything. Besides, you're just a video game model, you know, because I can't afford to actually make a realistic looking CGI demon thing. Wait a minute. Wait, uh, what? Oh yeah, I'm so stupid. I'm on a green screen. I can, you know, leave the set whenever I want and go review the game Apocalypse instead, because, you know, that would be much, much easier than dealing with whatever the hell that was. <laughs> oh, nobody's laughing. All right, all right, all right. Let's go review the game instead, shall we? Come on. <sighs> that opening skit wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> Just like my relevancy on YouTube. Am I right, gamers? <laughs> oh. Anyway, I got something to play. <sighs> All right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, glad I stowed this away in my inventory for safekeeping. Now there's only thing one left to do. Put this bad boy in. Whew. All right, you know, it's time for it's time to game on, fellas. Ah, uh, yes. Welcome back to Water Surf's Gaming Hour. This is my newest video game show where I talk about video games that I own physically and or digitally. It's also the second episode, and that means people liked it enough for me to make this into a series. So thanks for watching the last episode, and hopefully this one. <laughs> We're going to play a game called Apocalypse for the PlayStation 1. Let's take a look at this intro real quick. Wow, what a sick game intro from a game that's as almost as old as me on a console that is as old as me. Oh god damn, I'm a boomer now, aren't I? Quiet, you. This game we are reviewing is specifically the one that came out for the PlayStation 1 back in November of 1998, and whoo boy, it's a doozy of a game. It's a third-person shooter that also has platforming elements. It also stars Bruce Willis, who plays the main character, Trey Kincaid. You also- Oh my god, who the hell cares? It's one of those old ass 3D games that has those quarter-eating philosophies from the old arcade games where you just run, you jump, 
and you shoot. That's the name of the game, son! Yeah, this game is very light on the plot. While it is there, it's something you have to really be paying attention to because it's more gameplay than story. <laughs> it says call this number if you need help or for tips and tricks. What do I look like? I don't need help. I'm a gamer. All right, enough interruptions. Let's just talk about the gameplay since this guy is a gamer. When it boils down to it, the gameplay for this game is really what was stated earlier. You run, you shoot, and you jump. Your default gun has unlimited ammo, but you can also collect power-up weapons that do more damage depending on your aim and gamer skills, of course. Hey, are you saying I have no skills? I have skills. Watch this. Shit. You didn't see that. I freaking broke it. Uh... Moving on from that, this game also has some janky platforming that somehow manages to get worse and worse as the game progresses, but you know, we'll get into that in a bit. There are also little secrets scattered around, like extra lives and such. Let's side pivot real quick to the controls, which technically is still under the gameplay. See this controller? <laughs> it's pretty neat, huh? It lets me play the game and go pew pew. No you idiot. Talk about the abhorrent control setup. Oh yeah, you remember how I told you this is an old PS1 game? Well back then, the controllers didn't believe in having these little nubs for your thumbs. It was just D-pad and these little doohickeys right here. Oh, also the trigger buttons were here too. Hopefully the editor put in the, what the old controller looked like or they'll be hell to pay. Hell to pay. Yes, boss. Hell to pay. Hell to pay. Hell to pay. <laughs> yeah, this game's controller setup is the worst. You use the D-pad to move, but to shoot, you use the actual button layout to shoot in the direction you want to shoot. So no trigger buttons to shoot. I mean, that's fine and all, and I get the limitations, but who the hell decided it was a good idea to make the jump button the right shoulder button or the R1 button for you controller heads out there? Wait a minute. Oh no. What the hell? Who designed this controller setup? Sip. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Now, I wouldn't make this much of a fuss about the jumping, but remember, this game is also a platformer. There are some levels in this game that switch from third-person shooter to full-on platformer, some of which require precise jumping and with the terrible camera setup means hell for the player. I guess you could say playing this game truly is the, um, apocalypse. Ugh. Let's go ahead and go level by level, and someone explain the plot as we go along. Starting things off, an evil scientist creates four horsemen of the apocalypse, and they are about to wreak havoc amongst the world, and only one man can stop him, Bruce Willis. That's right, the action star of this era is the only guy who can stop all the bad doers in the video game version of his many movies. Well, how does it start off? <laughs> Take a look. There was a time when science was my religion. Now, religion has become my science and my sword. Only one man, my oldest student, now my sworn enemy, knows my plan and knows how I raised my horsemen from the dead. Death, plague, war, beast, my four horsemen of the apocalypse, arise! The world must perish in our hands before we perish. Peace, death, tear the flesh from the heathen bones, plague, devour them with darkness, war, cast their corpses to the fire, beast, turn their cities to ash. Go forth, my horsemen! Justice Day is at hand! Thus is the reverence! Wake up, convict! You're on! Position 992B, Kincaid Trey. You have persisted in the dangerous ways of the sciences in direct violation of the 12 recommendations of the reverend. How would you plead? I'm gonna stick my foot so far up your Guilty! I sentence you to death. May the Lord have mercy on your soul. Amen. Boy, you're gonna have some bad dreams tonight. <laughs> 
So let me get this straight. I got thrown in jail, and that bum ass hillbilly wants to fk me over there. Hooey! Let's share a bunk tonight, partner, if you know what I mean. You know, I really hope he does that in the game, because if he doesn't, it's gonna be a real short game. Oh good, he was packing heat. Wait a minute, come into the light. Let me see you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, guys, it's Bruce Willis. Can't you tell? Shadow tech in action. Welcome to paradise. So you break out of jail, and this is where the fun begins. After learning the clunky ass controls, you begin your prison break, and you're treated to some of the best one-liners in the game. <laughs> oh boy, do I sure love me some SpaghettiOs. Open up a can of ah. bad. As you can tell, it's one of those games. You got the main character spraying out a plethora of one-liners and quips. As you can tell from some of my gameplay, there are jumping parts and shooting parts, and you can tell the type of game this is going to be. Oh hey, another one-liner. These guys need a little bit more lead in their diet. What? Wait, what did he just say after that? Was that like an audio bug, or did he just question his line in the audio booth and the audio engineers were just like, eh, ship it out, it's fine. So you get the idea, run and gun through this prison. You eventually and gradually get more power-ups as you progress through the level. So let me get this straight. You get a flamethrower, and then he says, feel the burn, kid? I have a feeling this character just wanted an excuse to kill people for funsies. I also sort of felt, you know, bad lighting these people on fire, but you know, it's okay. The game's rated T for teen, so my mom says I can play it. Yeah, so you make your way through the rest of the level, and with the beginning of terrible platforming. Oh yeah, guess what the final boss is for this level. Whew, I finally beat all those guys, you know. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> oh, you know, that's hardly fair. <laughs> the first boss of the game is a tank. A literal tank. Luckily, he was pretty easy as long as you kept your distance. Now that's level one in the bag. That was only the first level? Oh god, what did I get myself into? There, that little poop looks safe. The next level is the sewers. This level is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to platforming hell. There are also weird enemies that sound like hillbillies, and they throw grenades at you. Also giant rats? Hey, at least I found a secret with an extra life. Then uh, this part happens. The boss for this level is a giant gator that keeps hiding, and the fight went on for way longer than I wanted it to. Hey, at least we can finally move on to the next level. Alright, getting close to my old place. Hopefully the stash in my lab is still gold. This looks like the right spot. Nice polygon. <laughs> They got really nice polygons. High poly count, am I right? In other news, the renegade scientist broke out of the Paradise Island maximum security facility. Trey Kincaid is still at large, heavily armed and extremely dangerous. Okay, plan B. Run for it. Pray for his swift capture. Amen. So you're now escaping the city. I guess you could say it's a city escape. <laughs> Phew. 
Phew. Lucky break, I guess. You know, nothing can get worse than that. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, fuck. Yeah, so you run through the city, defeat the tanks, and then hell itself starts to rise. As in, here comes the platforming part where you jump over lava, and boy we, you sure do jump over that lava. Then there's the fifth element part where you ride on the flying taxis over the lava? What the hell? Oh yeah, more lava jumping while fighting robots? What the hell is this game? <sighs> okay, I somehow managed to beat all of them. <laughs> so where's the boss of this level? Oh, come on, man, that's not fair. The boss of this level is not actually a boss, but instead just the army with their stuff to get you. That must mean the next level is going to be special. <laughs> they had all this time to wait for the elevator? That reminds me of that one time I was stuck in the elevator for a really long time and someone came to rescue me. Man, I've been in this elevator for a really long time. Whoa, Apocalypse PS1 star and Over the Hedge star Bruce Willis coming to my rescue? What an honor. Oh, I just see you're just getting into a firefight now. Well, uh, that's awkward. I guess I'll just uh, cut away to the next scene. Regen tabs and get the hell out of here. I knew you'd come back for me, Trey. Larry! I thought you were dead. Oh, yeah. I see you. <laughs> Larry, I thought you were dead. Oh, yeah. I am. That seemed a little graphic. Oh. Joshy, I turned myself into a horse. I'm Brony Josh. <sighs> no, I'll finish him off. Now you are at the first of the four main bosses. This boss fight is against death, and he keeps saying, I will swallow your soul, and other dumb one-liners that you expect from a fight with a demon. Oh yeah, there's also this part. I don't know why he keeps saying it like that. Bring it on, Larry. Like, I get old games had a limitation with how much audio they can use, but using the same line over and over and over again is just annoying, dude. Well, don't worry, because we beat that clown, and then it's cutscene time. Ah, he's tricked the reactor. This place is about to go supernova. Then get out of there, stupid. Now it's time for the rooftop level. I would say this part has the worst platforming in the game, but this was just the first layer of hell because boy wee, does it get much, much worse after this. Luckily, that part was toward the end of the level and hey, look, a TV playing copyright music. I'll just replace it with something better. Global climate change. Climate change, global, 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 global climate change. I'm just kidding. That wasn't better at all. Well, let's keep progressing through the level. It's just run and gun for more of the level. I can tell you, this part was pretty fun until it happened. Another TV. <laughs> you know what that means. Uh, 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 it's a, uh, 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 it's a, uh, 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 it's a mother freaking climate change. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a mother freaking climate change. 
It's a, uh, it's a mother freaking climate change. Enough of that. Climb the rope over the TV, and uh, this is the part where platforming hell starts. You know how they say, save the best for last? Well, this level was like, yeah, the platforming is the best part of the entire game. Let's have that where the camera placement is trash, and they expect precise jumping with a D-pad and the R1 jumping. Like, seriously? Who playtested and said, yeah, ship it out, it's good enough, just, just send it out. Let's check what my notes said for this uh, level. I literally wrote in my notes, F this stage, this level, f**k this game. I died a lot to the stupid platforming parts on this level. This is the part of the game where I really wish I just played it on an emulator so I could remap the buttons and actually make it comfortable instead of having to touch the little teeny teeny R1 button to keep jumping on this precision platforming level. <sighs> At least the boss was easy, right? Right? <laughs> He's funny. The boss was easy. The boss was easy? Actually, yeah, it was pretty easy. Just annoying because it was a helicopter. Oh well, it's cutscene time. The President of the United States. America, it is my sad duty to officially announce that the Reverend is dead. The Reverend's not dead. Now it looks like he's got the President in his back pocket too. And let us not rest until the criminal responsible for his death is torn limb from limb. Okay, that's bad. Need to find somewhere to lie low for a while. I know just the place. I'm gonna pay a little visit on my ex. Only my Mary could be warped enough to put a club in the middle of a cemetery. As you can tell, you're wanted by the president, but you gotta go visit your ex in some graveyard thing. What is this future? What the fuck is this game? Hey, at least graveyard levels are always fun. <laughs> if only he knew. Which I mean, he does because that guy is me and me is that guy. You remember how I said f**k this stage on the last stage? Well, f**k this stage some more. This level, unfortunately, won't have any cutaway jokes because I need to go on a bit of a rant. How do you make the level worse than the last one? Oh, I know. Platforming? This level has so many trash-ass platforming segments. And when it was shoot time, here's some dog things that take 20 billion hits to kill and will one hit kill you if you get close to them. This level was jumpy time, where the shooty time was on the back burner. I would also say at least I didn't die on this level, but that would be a lie too, because there was this one part towards the end where the level didn't actually load. Like, what the hell, dude? I went through this hallway of bullshit, and you dumped me into the void? Oh yeah, and by the way, don't get me started about the terrible boss part. You gotta open this door, but only the door can get closed by the enemies, because f*** you, that's why. Hey, at least I finished this hell level, and I hope that's the last of it. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. Sounds like she's near the end of her set. I just hope she's not still pissed. Trey Kincaid, I'll be damned. Was it you who crashed the chopper out? That's not a chopper, baby, it's a hover bike. Never could keep your stick straight, could you? I'm sorry we haven't hooked up lately, baby, but I've been playing dead. I've missed you too much to be angry. My body becomes warm when I think of your flesh shredded. Oh, and baby, not by you too. Oh, you yeah, I missed you. Give money a kiss before you face. Yep, she's still pissed. Huh. So is that what dating is like? You hook up with your ex and they turn into some demon monster lady because you haven't seen them in a while? I don't know, but all I do know is women be crazy. Am I right, my fellow dudes? Well, it's boss fight time, and unfortunately I can't play any of the audio because they're probably playing copyright music on the screens. So that's cool. Oh yeah, the boss is dead now. That was a quick and easy fight. Now the boss is going to explode. Are we done exploding yet? Uh... Oh, finally. I thought she was gonna explode forever. Never seen this trick before. These freaks are grafted to the latest generation of bang stick. What's going on out there? Uh, candy cream. <laughs> Well, praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. Freeze, Rafer! War sells, baby. And I'm selling to the president of the U.S. of A. Damn! He's heading for the factory floor. So now do we go to the next level? We gotta go get that guy. He's selling guns to the president. You know, war bad. Get that guy. 
Get ready for the factory level. Hey, remember how I said f this stage and f that stage for the last two levels? <laughs> well, <laughs> this one was such bullshit that even the developers knew it was. All the enemies were garbage, and the platforming was burning garbage. You know how I said even the developers knew it was bad? They spam extra lives and weapons at you. Like, instead of redesigning the level to, you know, make it easier, they were like, nah, the playtesters were just bad and should feel bad because we'll throw in some extra lives and good weapons because uh, get good wasn't a thing back then. If this were a game now, they just laugh at you and make you continuously restart the level. My review of this level, and only this level, is uh, no. Hey, at least there was no boss in this level. But uh, do you know what's better than a boss? This place is just so cozy to me. Yeah, the ending of this level was like, here's an elevator that goes to the moon and spin the camera a lot to not make it boring. I don't understand this level. And the next boss is also, um, not fun. You can run, but you can't hide. Ka boom. I think it's time to get ready for war. Praise be to the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. Now do we fight the boss? So you blow up the turrets on the down chopper, and then it happens. I am war. I will punish you. Punish me. Not too hard, demon daddy. Ooh, woo. Uh, moving on from that, you fight the boss, run away in the city, and beat him. That was easy, I guess. Who really was the one getting punished? Oh yeah, this. A bit quicker explosion this time. You know, 3 out of 10 for the war demon. I thought there would be more booms for him, you know? I smell another horseman. Oh no, he's on fire! Don't tell me the other horseman is... Oh god, no. Oh god, no, I can't fight him! He's the wrong villain! And I have the wrong sword! You up for a tour of the White House? Phew! It's only the president. Wait, we're invading the White House? Oh god, no. The final level is upon us, and we take on the White House. This is the final showdown level. You have to use all your skills that you picked up and take on an onslaught of enemies as you make your way across the White House lawn. You eventually make your way to the White House, which is surrounded by a mode of lava. Then, it's the fun part of climbing up to the tippy top along the skinny roof tiles and a bunch of loaded turns. Man, climate change is out of control. This is why you gotta vote for the floopy dupers party instead of the shrombo party. They always like to replace all the water with lava. Shaking my head, dude. Finally, inside the White House, and it's you against the Secret Service. They must protect the president guy at all costs. That means being crazy ass kamikaze dudes that fire rockets out of their hands. This is totally a final level enemy. Now after you make your way through all that fun, it's time to enter the Oval Office. I already know what awaits us behind this door, but let's press on for our audience's sake. Let me guess. You were taking the tour with the Sunday Scouts, and you lost your way. Let me show you my new domestic policy. I think we found our beast. I knew you were behind this all along, you bastard. Listen, you ruined my road trip in the last episode, so you know what? I'm gonna make sure you're dead in this episode. <laughs> You need some lead in your diet, what? Ah, suck on this. Strap one on, it's time to jam. <laughs> Look at my one-liners. 
Whew. I guess you can say you've been apocalypsed, bench. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You guys still have to see the ending of the game. Come on, let's go. On behalf of Yelzy welcome to Regardless of how polite he sounds, it's time for the final boss, the Beast Demon. It takes place on the Oval Office, but then it gets destroyed so it's time to fight on this big old circular platform that slowly gets destroyed as you dwindle down the boss's many health bars. Yeah, the final boss has multiple phases, and every time he gets down, he changes up the environment. I can tell you that I did die a few times with this boss because this boss was actually difficult. It probably would have been a bit easier with a different control setup, but nonetheless. I still got through his mini phases and beat him. Oh yeah, if you were wondering. Oh no, it's not another one of these. How long does it take for one of these enemies to explode? Almost done? What the f***? Was that the evil scientist from the beginning of the game? Doing a T-pose on us? Not on my watch. How do you like that, huh? How do you like it? How do you like my T-pose? Don't you know, he who battles with demons is destined. Become one. Shoot me. I'll see you in hell. Wait, aren't you guys already in hell? Aren't you seeing him right now? <laughs> Thought they had me there for a minute. Welcome to paradise. Wait, that was the ending? What kind of ending was that? He gets possessed by the evil guy and becomes the bad guy himself? What kind of cliffhanger ass ending is that? What was all that fighting for? No reason, that's what it was. Just go play the game again. You might get a different ending. No, there's no different ending. Where the freak does that matter? Well, that's the game. While I'm over there raging out, let's quickly say my thoughts on this game. I don't know why I played this a lot when I was a kid, because I know I remember that I never got past the first level. Now, actually finishing the game as an adult, I'm glad I did, but at the same time, god damn was this game sort of good but bad. It's corny as hell, but it's a good time if, and only if, you can look past the bad controls and terrible platforming. Honestly, I personally wouldn't recommend this game, but you know, it might scratch that um, itch for those who enjoy this niche type of game with the run and gun style of gaming or something. Oh, freaking, oh, freaking, oh, freaking hate this freaking game. <sighs> well, that concludes this episode of Water Search Gaming Hour. Now, if I can only say one thing about this game, is that this episode has been hell to make. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Look at that!